don't know what this is, but there's this group of kids that has these drums, and I was just thinking, because they're all wearing black, and they all have that, and I was like, you know, the uniformity is really powerful. And it's, just, it's just ten kids walking by, and no one would have noticed, but listen, there's an impact. And I thought, you know, this is exactly what should be said for protesting. Look, <laughs> the people that are using, essentially, Hitler tactics to unify their team, those same tactics can be used for the good. Hitler understood that visual imagery was incredibly important to humanity and they were sort of a sucker for it um, more so than the most anything that you know seeing is believing and um, and so you know he understood to adhere to uniform he understood slogans and um, even his mustache I'm sure was some sort of point to stand out imagine if he didn't have it you'd be like what guy you know like you wouldn't even remember but you know his face because of that Right, exactly, it's marketing. And, um, anyway, so just, you know, um, I apologize for not reading more articles on the Berkeley thing before I made a tape, but, um, it did make me think about useful tactics for protesting. And I know it's getting harder in America to protest, something I fundamentally do not agree with. Um, but, you know, there's... And they're, they're really making it tough now, but there's a lot of funny ways to protest and, and um, thought-provoking and, and visually appealing and, and powerful ways to protest. What they're doing, that works. I mean, I don't know what that actually is, but I'm just saying, that works. That's the unified force right there. Some kids, some drums, but it works. And, um, you know, like, for example, there's a... Um, <laughs> I think it was in Germany, they showed up, maybe it wasn't, but I think it was in Germany, where they showed up in a, a whole bunch, with a whole bunch of bubble wrap all around their bodies like this, <laughs> and they turned to each other, and they started beating each other up, and the cops were like, uh, we thought they were going to go for us, <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're out, they're beating each other up, we're out, we're out, we're out, that's really clever, um, you know, there's another one for cutting down trees and um, simple yarn. It fucks up the chainsaw. Yarn the tree. Um, you know, the, I referenced the queer kiss in at UCSC. That was really smart because they just set up a booth right next to the military protesters or the military recruiters and the military people left. Probably with half stiffies and a lot of questions about their sexuality. <laughs> Um, and, um, you know, um, there's just been a lot of ways that people are incorporating common themes. What, what I think is not working, you guys, you think that numbers are going to be enough. Numbers don't scare them enough. You need to start visually coordinating what you're doing. I always thought a protest with everyone wearing business suits would really make an impact because it's not like the usual crowd of anarchists and you might have actually footage or tapes or pictures of me at a very small, very small demonstration um, and um, where I think you guys stung me um, it was like a group of anarchy kids and one of them was like I have to get the bathroom. I think I ran into him later when I lived on the street in San Andrews um can you hold my sign so you might have to kill the pigs? I swear to God, that's not my sign. I swear to God, that's exactly what happens when the kid was like, can you bathroom me on my sign? I was like, oh, I'll do it. But if you do the pictures, note what I'm wearing. I did it on purpose. I wore a white dress and a gold headband. Why? Because I already knew everyone was going to be anarchist kids, and it just blends. It doesn't have an impact. There's the cops. The cops don't like it, whatever is going on with these drums. That's weird. Huh. Um... So anyway, just things to think about, like, but these kids are all dressed the same, and they're all doing the same thing, and that works, and there's very few of them, and yet, I don't know what they're probably doing, but, you know, that works. 
So just as you're doing, you know, I appreciate that the women just did, you know, a, a huge march. Um, but consider, it, it's scary when people are all dressed the same. That's scary, but you can use it from the side of the hood too. Or, you know, using the same chant or using the whatever, that, that unity. And it's really cool how there's so much independence and all these, like, individuals stepping forward, and I applaud that in life. But in protest, I think it works better with community. So there's something to think about before you get frustrated and go towards violence. Is there's other solutions. It just requires coordination. And